Hey guys, it's Rabbit John. Come back to another Infinite Magic Grade video. This is going to be a quick one. I want to talk about the latest development question and answers that we've gotten so far. Um, I want to bring up everything that we proposed to them. I also want to talk about some other things that we proposed that we're not getting answers from that I think we're going to keep pushing that issue to get more information on. So stay tuned. Let's see what you guys feel about this Q&A session, as well as maybe if you agree on my opinions. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to pull up my handy dandy notepad. That's right. Just like blues clues over here with the notepad. Um, we are going to go ahead and what I will do is I'm going to read the question and type it out. Um, and then I'm going to give you my own answer. See if you guys agree. Uh, we're talking about the answers that were given to us from the developers and see how the community feels about this in general. All right. So the first question. So number one. Um, EXP potions are a problem. Okay. Why are they a problem? Let's see. They go on, we go on to say, would you like to add a double EXP potion event? Um, okay. So let's first start off with their answer. Their answer to this was um we've gotten a lot of feedback and suggestions about exp potions the good news is is that the dungeon bounty monthly quest will bring you lots of exp potions you'll be able to get them with next month furthermore Xmas events are the highlight of the whole year tons of potions will be easy we are easy to gain okay so no events right no events uh there will be special events that give additional pots as an uh, as rewards right okay so that's the answer that the developers gave us for that question okay uh let's go ahead and fix that so you guys can see that on screen here let's see boom boom, boom. okay cool so we're trying not to go past that um number two what was the second question that we asked the developers um actually you know what no let's finish this one uh, here's my response. Here's my response to this. Uh, EXP potions are a problem. I don't think they're a problem. I don't. Um, I'm not mad about the way it's set up. Um, it's just one of those situations where, um, do I think it's something that we need like a special event for like double emblem event or something like that? Absolutely not. Uh, Mainly because I don't feel that it's that bad. I mean, I feel as a free-to-play player, um, I'm not struggling with pots. I'm struggling with food. So I don't think X EXP potions are a problem at all. I think food is a problem. And this is the wrong question to go about even being concerned with as free-to-play. Now, spenders, if you're having a problem with potions, that means you're spending too much on resources, champions, and stuff like that. That doesn't allow you to level up characters, right? Um, so to me, that sounds more like a sell you a pack to substantiate, like substantiate the claim that you want here, or I don't know. We got to come up with a better management system. I unfortunately can't help you with this because I don't have that problem, which makes it kind of hard. So my stance, um, XP potions are not a problem. They're not a problem. That's my, that's my point. Okay. Second, second thing, second thing to talk about. Okay um there is rework some useless heroes rework useless heroes ba -ba -ba -bum. okay let's see if they got champions listed um don't be feared about changing them too much people are waiting for that it would change the current meta and people would love to summon these heroes example vera carry carrot zach zulu and a lot of other heroes would need a buff uh, so what they're saying is we're rework use heroes, um, champions that are not meta and drastically alter their abilities. Um, that's basically the question. So what is the developer's answers to this? Um, developers, our development team takes the hero adjustment very seriously to decide whether to adjust heroes 
we must observe the data and opinions of all players. It seems that the previous adjustment of bleeding and po poison was successful, and the majority of you really enjoyed it. Based on the observ observation result, these heroes are on the list, and we will share the info ASAP. Okay, so their answer is they're already doing so, already doing this, and slightly tweaking to compensate for bad kits. Okay, that's basically their answer. That's basically what they're saying. They're basically like, yo, we already know there are bad player or bad champions out there. We know that's useless. So we need to kind of get this dialed in. But they started with bleeds and with poison, which I think was very good because they definitely needed balance. They weren't as good as burns, right? Burn was god tier. The rest of them, not so much. Um, and I think they did a good job on fixing the bleed and poison problem. And I think they did. I think they nailed that. Um, so that tells me they're already looking at kit balance. They're getting more um involved in it my problem in this situation though is the fact that um unfortunately yeah it's nice that uh, i get a balanced kit now but i don't know the food is the problem i can't level up these champions or use these guys um because i don't have enough food to do so right so even if you fix their kit okay cool i pulled like seven god tier champions well i'm 60 days in and i don't even have five a fives yet right so What's that tell you? I could have a lot of bad character, like not bad, like I mean, like really, really, really good characters on the bench because I have food problems. So if they go ahead and they buff everyone else that I, I like, maybe I already have. Well, that doesn't help me because I can't, I, I can't invest in them, right? Overall, though, I think it is good. Uh, my 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 take is um, this um isn't a priority for free to play because honestly at this point it really it isn't right it's not a massive pro uh, uh massive priority for free to play because free to play um doesn't have the resources they don't have the resources to invest in them so it doesn't matter um still good to do that's the take. Um, it's still great to do. I think it's great to work on reworks for characters, play uh, balance kits out, that kind of thing. Uh, it's never a bad thing to go ahead and do that and get involved with um, uh, the game, basically. It tells people that, hey, you're playing the game, you see the problems, you associate with them, and you can fix them. That's basically what it shows the people. Uh, the third one is, is it possible to get a mythic conversion stone for free okay so that is a stone where say you get a mythic and you want to convert them to another one you can do so um let's see what the developer says about this um the answer is of course yes cool um a mythic uh, stone will be added to the new quest i promise that the quest will not be too difficult to complete so that everyone has a chance to get it. Okay. Uh, yes. One free one. Free one free one from um, a quest. My opinion. Um, cool. Cool. All right. Uh, fourth question asked here. Let's go ahead and do, 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 do this. Okay. Uh, the fourth question asked is one, two, three, and four here. Is equalize the difficulty of reaching stages and all voyage trip types in the order amount the easiest are ice skating, voyage, trio match, treasure hunt. It's way too hard on the last one to get points in comparison with the others. Okay, so um equalize the reaching stages uh the interactive sub games um okay the answer to this is uh thank you for your feedback we are working to balance the difficulty of all voyage events the round of each of uh, reaching hero and legend dragon eye for example has been reduced this time we will also keep an eye on it and make adjustments 
Um, so they are basically what they're saying is they are devs. Devs are currently um, tweaking difficulties um, and lowering good reward requirements. Um, so they're actively doing it. Mine, um, uh, basically sub games, um, if only the bottom tier rewards were boosted a little bit more, I think it'd be worth it. Rewards were boosted, it's GG. Because I think that's the only thing it needs. You basically just need to be able to uh, get better rewards. I think that's that's the that's the do that's the fix here. All right, so let's see number five. Um, what do we got here? What do we got here? Let's go throw this up here. All right, so question number five here is, um, any information about the guild gameplay? Guild gameplay. All right, that's the question. And the answer from the developers is, in order to create a better experience for all of you, we discussed many options and finally decided to make this bold attempt. You can borrow heroes from guild members to participate in the new dungeon. It will most likely be released soon, and more information will be posted in the community. Please be patient. Okay, the takeaway. That is huge. So, um, borrow unit. Incoming. For guildies. Okay. Um, guildies for new dungeon. Okay. My take on that. Um, good first step. Good first step. Um, my my reason why I say good first step is I've played a game where you can borrow units. That is like the god tier thing to do for newbies. Um, I think that honestly, uh, if you can borrow, I think every gacha game should acquire the trait where you can borrow one champion from a person um, and use them use one person per battle or whatever, and they have a limit on how many times you can use them. I think that should be in every gacha game because for new players and free to play players, that is the best way to trade and um, trade ideas on who to build and who not to build and be able to test it out, um, which is huge, right? Like depending on what unit you guys put up, um, if a new unit comes out and someone gets them built, they can throw it up there for someone to try them out for them. Um, stuff like that is huge. I know we have a feature in the game which allows us to test characters out ahead of time, but like, Borrowing them too is amazing because you can actually use it for your own progress and your own uh, completion. I think it's a great first step. I don't think that's the, the fix totally to guild gameplay, but I think it's a good good first order. Okay, next. Um, come on. Come on. There we go. Number six here we have. What about monthly quests? Monthly quests. Monthly quests. Answer is we are thrilled to announce that monthly quests, which countless players have been expecting for a long time, will be online next week. After completing the challenge stages, you will receive generous rewards, and it's a, a fantastic opportunity to obtain the legend heroes okay so here we go we heard it here first basically um one of the quests is on its way uh for great rewards okay what's my take on this awesome add more recurring reward systems love it love it all right so let's keep going here we got like one or two more what do we got here? The, we got two more questions. Let's know the details of the Xmas events. Okay, so let's see. I'm just gonna like, we're just gonna do this on this one here. Um, so we're gonna go number seven. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. 
What's some of the details of Exodus events? Uh, what is the developer's answers? That's the real questions. The developers say, as we know, Christmas is extremely popular all over the world. Thus, how can we ignore this festival? A strong four-star hero, um, a limited avatar, and plenty of diamonds will be claimed from the three-day sign-in event. So, free epic. Um, don't care about avatar and diamonds and diamonds. Okay, uh, what else do we get out of this? Uh, Xmas themed dungeon can provide you with massive rewards such as mini Supreme XP's, um, EXP's and legend eyes on events. Okay, uh, limited heroes are also indispensable. So guess why, who they are. At the same time, the Xmas limited challenge is waiting for you trust me you will regret it if you missed the event um so there's also going to be special um seasonal characters um here's my take on it uh the last time we did the halloween event and we got that new pumpkin champion that's pretty good um those same thing same prop like same like you can only get them during that time for that banner you couldn't use uh legend of eyes on them i feel like this portion of this is i don't like that's dumb however everything about free epic diamonds exps and legendary eyes on events like that is amazing i think they killed that uh special seasonal characters though um uh, it's whatever it is what it is i'm not impressed um great uh other than seasonal champs Boom. All right. Moving on. What is the last question on the Q and a from the developers? I know everybody wants to know where are we at? Let's see here. The last question from the developers was we're looking forward to playing the infinite magic raid PC version. When can we try it? Ooh, so that's a good one. Um, I'm our PC client. Question mark. Uh, the answer is um before launching it we need to evaluate the impact of the game experience of all players hoping to bring everyone the best experience pc version comes with a lot of benefits for imr bigger screen higher image quality less game lag easier recharging and cross cross platforming play it's much easier to talk with friends on discord this is this amazing version will be released in the middle of december uh we won't have many events to celebrate this new revolution wait 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 whoa 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 what i'm our pc client um coming mid-december uh two weeks from now really i mean that'd be awesome if we get a pc client in two weeks that'd be dope be really happy um okay and with events oh bro that's awesome okay my take amazing best thing about q and a hands down hands down best thing they said about this q a um very interesting very interesting indeed let's go ahead, let's review this really quickly so basically we have um let's see if i can't uh, fit this all on the screen a little better here um let's see if this works okay so basically, uh, XP potions, um, basically no, like they're not gonna bump those or have special events for them. I'm just getting in rewards or in, in events for rewards. Um, rework useless heroes, already on, already doing it, it's already on its way, okay. Is it possible to get a mythic conversion stone for mythics, conversion stone for free? Yes, boom, done. Um, Equalize the reaching stages, interacting sub games, but interactive sub games like what we have currently. Um, looks like devs are currently tweaking difficulties, anyways. Okay. Uh, guild gameplay info. Basically, borrow a unit is incoming. It's gonna be game changing. Stay tuned. Monthly quest is monthly quest is on its way. Coming to coming to a, a game near you um details of xmas events basically you're gonna get some free stuff and some chances to get some legendary eyes it's probably gonna be a little pay to win but um it's christmas you know there'll be great packs to go along with it um imr pc client okay what is this one uh this is probably the best one out of the entire thing uh answer coming mid-december um question mark yes 
because uh, it says that they want to evaluate the impact. Um, so maybe maybe their definition of evaluate versus mine is, is not the same. I would say more than two weeks of discussion needs to be had for this. But um, okay. Coming mid-December, this is huge. This is amazing. Um, best part about the Q&A. Uh, leave comments. I want to know your guys' opinions about all this. Um, whether you agree with me, maybe you, differ, you don't agree with me, and you differ with what I think. I want to know. I want to hear about it. And uh, until next time, guys, have a good rest of your day. Peace.